Thank you. Um, hey everybody, uh, I'm Brett Bradshaw. I'm going to be uh, facilitating this uh, session called Stand Up for Understanding. Um, Eric's going to help me put a slide up here just for a second because uh, I want to uh, read a quote from, or have somebody here read a quote uh, from a person who I really admire who uh, has written a lot about movements and about uh, people taking action together. Uh, it's a woman who's, who actually lives in Provo, even though I don't think she's uh, LDS. So I need somebody who's got good eyes and a, a loud, booming voice who can read this quote for me uh, by Margaret Wheatley. Please, James. Despite current ads and slogans, the world doesn't change one person at a time. It changes when networks of relationships form among people who share a common cause and vision of what's possible. This is good news for those of us intent on creating a positive future. Rather than worry about critical mass, our work is to foster connections. We don't need to convince large numbers of people to change. Instead, we need to connect with kindred spirits. Through these relationships, we will develop the new knowledge, practices, courage, and commitment that lead to broad-based change. Margaret Wheatley. Thank you. So that's what we're going to try to do today in this action group, is uh, figure out how to develop the courage, commitment, will to make what might seem like very small steps but will bring about greater change. So the outcomes uh, for the session are listed up there. To build a collaborative space to explore and engage the following questions. What can I do to develop or deepen the level of dialogue and quality of relationships necessary to bring about greater understanding between the LGBT and Mormon communities? And what is the opportunity available to all of us if we work collectively to achieve greater understanding and to promote LGBT equality? And then also to explore what it means to take leadership for equality in our own respective contexts by building a common language and collective commitment to changing the discourse around LGBT issues and furthering equality for LGBT people and reflecting on what interrupting inequality would look like for each of us. So we'll be talking to each other, we'll be creating a sort of a work plan of where we go next, we'll be hearing from uh, people who, are, who come from ally organizations, family fellowship is here, uh, representatives from Mormon for, Mormons for Marriage are here. Uh, there's another effort uh, underway. It's not really an organization, but an effort uh, called Proposition Healing, where people get together and have discourse around dinner. And we'll hear from some of these people and talk to each other. So that's what's in line. Uh, and we'll be in this room right over here. Thank you.